Hey everybody, my name is Sam and welcome back to Sam Craft. In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing and do an initial review of the Craftsman 8 Tool Combo Kit. If you're interested or want to know what this is about, if it's worth it, and how the tools look, stay tuned. Everything is unpacked and set out here before you, and as you can see, this is quite the spread of cordless tools. Let's run through everything that's included in this kit to start things off. You have a half inch drill driver, a quarter inch quick connect impact driver, a flashlight, a random orbital sander, a jigsaw, an oscillating cutoff tool, a reciprocating saw, a six and a half inch circular saw, two two amp hour 20 volt lithium ion batteries, one battery charger, two tool bags, and then an assortment of accessories to get you started. Things such as paper for the sander, a couple of bits for the drill and drivers, a blade for each of these tools, and a slew of owner's manuals. I did purchase this tool kit myself with my own money and am in no way sponsored by Craftsman or any other store. I was looking for a budget but good quality cordless tool set with a minimum of drill, impact driver, circular saw. Those were the three I wanted. The fact I got all these others extra, or I guess paid for them a little bit, was bonus for me and just icing on the cake. Here's the overview. Now let's take a closer look at each tool one by one. All right, let's start off with the half inch drill driver. It's a pretty basic design. First impression, the motor seems very large compared to a lot of other models you'll see out in the stores. But when I pick it up in my hand, it is very well balanced. It feels good. When I add the battery to the bottom, and again, this is the two amp hour battery, it balances out pretty well. Really no complaints. It's a stable drill. It'll sit there good. It won't tip over very easily. And it feels good in the hand. It comes with a two speed drive or two speed gearbox, a 23 speed clutch system, as well as a drill lockout, a keyless chuck, and it is a half inch. One of the big questions I had when looking at this tool kit was, does it include belt clips or belt loops, or does it have the option to add them? Looking at the tools, most all of them have the threaded adapter to add belt clips, and I'm gonna be looking into those, and if I find them, I'll put a link in this video below. I found that belt clips are super, super handy, so I definitely wanna be getting some for this set. Looking over the drill itself, it's got a nice rubberized grip. It has a little bit of a ridges or ribs through here. That's gonna be good for gripping it in all situations. In addition, this back part of the motor is rubberized as well, and that'll keep it from sliding around. I was installing a metal roof on a storage shed last year, and my drill had the rubberized bits, while the person who was helping me didn't, and their drill was constantly sliding around. So that was the day that I really learned the benefit of a drill on its side being no slide or skid resistant. And these really do well. The battery itself is a really cool design. It's got a little thumb latch here. You push it in, pull it out, and it's as easy to go. All right, let's take a look at the quarter inch impact driver. Overall design is very similar to the half inch drill. It's got the rubberized grip with the little ridges. It's got the same kind of belt clip thread design here. Trigger assembly is good. One thing I like about the drill and driver and this impact driver are small reversible switches. Some drill manufacturers will make giant buttons and knobs that you're constantly hitting or your thumbs getting in the way or otherwise you're really just messing yourself up a lot. I really like this low profile recess design. The impact driver has the same kind of skid resistant housing on the back of the motor as well as the grip itself and very sturdy. It's got the front housing of the motor is solid, all metal. This is a rubberized grip, so that's nice. Should be non-marring for surfaces, plus add to that skid resistant properties I've talked about. And the chuck itself is a quick disconnect, all metal design with a single LED work light. The drill also has this work light design. It's really torquey and feels good in the hand. I like it. The next tool I wanna to talk about is a six and a half inch circular saw. This was the 
third tool in my list of priorities of what I was looking for in a cordless tool set and I am very pleased with this look and design so far right out of the box. It has your average safety features built in here for not turning on unless that's depressed. It's got good rubberized grips all around. It has a pretty sturdy metal base plate, nice plastic covers, shield, pretty basic stuff. Nothing necessary to write home to mom about. It has onboard Allen key storage for removing the blade, as well as an arbor lock right here for when you need to change the blade out. It has quick disconnect adjustments here for your depth of cut. Easily set and tightened down, as well as your bevel with positive stops at 90 degrees. I really like the positive stops built in. I like that this is a six and a half inch circular saw as opposed to the smaller versions I've seen in the past. This gives me plenty of cutting capabilities for a two by material and construction lumber. And of course, plywood and sheet goods along those lines. And I really think this will be the perfect size for what I want. It's not very heavy. It's very nice and balanced, easy on the hand, easy to hold. And I really look forward to getting to use this more. As far as noise while running, let's give that a quick little test. I like the slow start feature. It doesn't automatically just jump right into it. It's a little bit of delayed and a ramp up. I actually like that. Very cool. Here's the next tool that I'm happy to get. I'm going in order of what meant most to me to least to me with this combo kit. Here we have the jigsaw. It's a pretty basic jigsaw design. They've not created any awesome inventions or reinvented the wheel, but that's all you need with a jigsaw. It really works. It's got the two cutting modes, one for a direct cut, the other for more of an oscillating quick cut. It doesn't have any kind of dust extraction ports or anything for shop vacs or a bag. But that's okay. This is kind of a bare bones system here. Has the same kind of all steel foot plate here as a circular saw. The same onboard storage for your adjustment tool. I really like that. Nice simple guards. I like that they didn't get overly complicated with the guards. It's a piece of metal. You know, it does its job. I really like that. And it's a tool free blade change operation. This is all metal through here, so there's no plastic bits to wear out as quickly as it appears. And it's kind of rocking the same style grip as all the other tools with rubberized with little fins. As far as the non-skid, pretty good. That side's a little more slippery, but not bad. Weight-wise, it's about the same amount of weight with the battery as my regular corded jigsaw, but way more portable. Has a good balance. Yeah, I'm pleased with it. I like that. The jigsaw also has a lockout feature. So you can lock it so no one accidentally turns it on. I like that part of it. And I like the variable speed trigger. Very good. Next up is the five inch random orbital sander. It's an eight hole design with your standard hook and loop Velcro pad. It's got the same little threads here for a belt clip has a detachable dust bag, nice rubberized grips on the top. It fits my hand pretty well. I'm not a very tall person, I'm about five foot five, but it fits my hand good. It's good balance. The battery's not really hanging out there in a kind of an awkward place or location. There's plenty of clearance under the battery. I have a two inch piece of canary wood here and the whole battery assembly itself clears that. That's very important for getting right up to the edges of your pieces while sanding. I like that design. That was good thinking. As far as noise, it's a sander, so let's test that out. Looks good. I definitely look forward to using this. I love the portability factor of it being cordless. And I don't know about you guys, but every time I've used a sander, my cords seem to fight me. I'll always want to go just about three inches beyond where that cord reaches on a project, and this being cordless is a huge benefit. Up next is an oscillating cutoff tool. If you have never used one of these, you're doing yourself a disservice because this is the coolest tool invented since tools have been invented in the last 20 years. 
<laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know if the design of the oscillating tool is older or younger than that. I've been doing a lot of renovation and demolition work in our home and this tool, not this particular tool obviously, I just got this one, but an oscillating cutoff tool itself is fantastic for trim cuts, sneaking up on cuts, trimming things as needed. Very, very good. This has a nice pistol grip. It's got nice rubberized coatings all around the front. So as you're cutting, you have multiple different positions. You can hold it. It's not got any kind of metal housing like the corded version that I have has, but this being a battery tool, it's really not designed to be run for hours on end or any kind of really long cuts anyway. So I'm not disappointed with the lack of metal housing up here. In fact, I guess I would say that I'm actually pretty pleased that it doesn't have metal up here because of my corded oscillating tool. That metal gets super hot, almost to the point of burning you. Has a quick tool release here. Nice good metal spring system here. It is variable speed all the way up to, looks like dial number six. It's got the same threads here for belt clips like all these tools in this kit has. And it's got a nice rubberized texture and grip to keep it from sliding around. Let's do a little sound test. Sounds pretty good. It's actually a lot quieter than my corded model as well. We'll see how this tool, along with all the others, do stack up as I do my more in-depth tests and comparisons. And there'll be a link to that video once it's done down below. Next tool in the lineup is the reciprocating saw or Sawzall. This is a nice good body, it's a nice beefy structure here, rubberized grips feel good. Overall, it's not very heavy and it's pretty well balanced. They kept it simple down here at the business end of the tool and I like that, it's less things to break on you. It's a slightly adjustable foot plate here for cutting and blade removal is simple twist, quick release. I like that a lot, especially when you're cutting things and that blade gets super hot, you wanna be able to twist it and dump that blade out. Has the same thread design for belt clips. Has a lockout feature just like the jigsaw had. And it looks to be pretty good. Let's do a little sound test. I have to say, reciprocating saws are known to be jiggly jiggly monsters. That is smooth operator right out of the box. The last tool in our lineup is the lowly little flashlight. It seems like every toolkit you buy nowadays comes with a flashlight, and this is probably the least used tool I've ever used of toolkits, mainly because I don't usually work that much in the dark. This is a nice base, it's a very lightweight flashlight. Honestly, the heaviest part of this whole contraption is the battery itself. It has the same kind of rubberized grip and belt clip system as all the other tools have. The head itself is adjustable, it goes all the way vertical, and then down to 90 degrees. It has a loop here that I imagine you could use to put a, a rope through or a lanyard perhaps, and a quick on off feature. It is powered by three LEDs, which probably will last longer than the tool itself, the way LED technology goes. And all things considered, it's a flashlight. All right, let's talk a little bit about the batteries and charger you get with this kit. It comes with two two amp hour lithium ion batteries. They have their own built-in charge indicators, which I really, really, really like. They're lightweight, they're small, but again, they're only two amp hour. Craftsman does make and sell four amp hour batteries for this whole system, 20 volt system, lithium ion, and they are pretty comparably priced to the two amp hour. So I'll be getting me a set of those in the future, I'm sure. As far as the charger itself, it is a single battery bay charger, which is pretty standard for toolkits this size. It lists that it will charge 12 and 20 volt batteries. I do not know if those batteries will work in this system or not. I believe the charger is just universal in that capacity. And there is a hidden feature on the back that I really like. It has built in slots for mounting this on the wall for screws. And it tells you right here in the body that they are spaced three and a half inches apart. That is really handy. Overall, it's batteries and charger. What more can you say? The bags that come with this kit are very basic. I'm a little disappointed that they went with the two bag system and also disappointed in the fact that when I tried to pack the tools up in these bags, I had a heck of a time and barely got them to fit. I guess it's better than nothing, but for someone like me, honestly, I rarely ever use these tool bags. 
I have toolboxes, or I have a workshop for that kind of stuff. That being said, it's a good gesture, and they seem to be okay. The smaller bag is just plain canvas on the bottom, whereas the bigger bag has some plastic runners, I guess to help keep it from wearing and tearing as much. Honestly, the biggest failure point for these bags is going to be the zippers and the handles. They don't really feel super strong and beefing, but they're bags. I plan on making a tool storage system here in my workshop and probably won't be using these bags much at all, unless possibly the small one to throw one or two tools in and go and come back and that kind of situation. As of the making of this video, which is early December 2019, the eight piece toolkit is not available on Amazon that I can find. That being said, perhaps the eight piece toolkit is not really what you're looking for. If that's the case, I've assembled here the four horsemen of the toolpocalypse, which is available on Amazon right now. You get the drill, the impact driver, the flashlight, the circular saw, two batteries, one charger, and a tool bag for a heck of a deal. I'm not trying to push you guys on the tools. I'm just trying to give you some value and kind of give you a little more information in case you're like, hmm, the eight piece cool set looks cool, but it's really more than I think I'd really ever use. There are options out there. In addition to the four piece set, there's also one where it's just the drill driver and impact driver, as well as individual tools themselves. What Craftsman has done is they've moved into the method of other tool manufacturers where they have a lot of cordless tool systems and designs all centered around one common battery. For the Craftsman tools, it is a 20 volt lithium ion system. There are plenty of tools available and I imagine they may be adding more as time goes on. You have things such as all the eight tools you saw in this combo kit, plus such items such as leaf blower, vacuum cleaner, tire inflator, radios, and even a sliding compound miter saw, which I think is especially awesome. Either way, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you got some value out of it. Be sure to look below for a lot of links and information and stuff like that. I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you next time in the workshop.